We welcome you back to 3 News at 5. Thanks for spending time with us on this Valentine's Day. Our growing STEM segment heads into the kitchen for some very sweet science. I'll take science that's sweet any day of the week. Especially this you. science. I know. With the help of Mally's Chocolates, Betsy Kling is showing us some of the secrets of candy chemistry. There is science behind some of your favorite sweets, like classic peanut brittle. Our guide is the head candy man himself, Mike Malley. And what you're seeing going on inside this copper pot is we're uh, boiling the sugar and glucose. That's to remove the water before the peanuts are added. The proteins mix with sugar, starting the Mylard browning reaction. And the browning reaction, it's really involves the amino acids and it reduces the sugars that give it that caramelization color. See how quickly it turned brown? Adding baking soda aerates the mixture by releasing carbon dioxide. It's that baking soda salt. There, there's the foam I was looking for. Timing is important as the brittle needs to be stretched before it cools. Then he's got to pour it out while it's still in a very liquid form. And then what you're going to see is we spread it out to make it nice and thin, like a classic brittle. And aeration is also key to make the handmade slab marshmallows nice and airy. The marshmallow... A lot like nougats and other things, it's an aerated confection, which means there's air in there that gives it that sort of whipped look. Large 10-pound slabs of dark chocolate are ground up in small pieces to make what is called seed. It's a base for a number of confections. We're blending it in with the other chocolate to form a crystallization effect. And higher grade chocolates, it's very important that you, you can do that process. Once the chocolate is melted together or tempered, the cooks continually monitor the temperature to ensure the appearance and taste of the chocolate. Following the recipe will only get you so far. It's experience with the process that makes it all come together. Some of our cooks have been here 20 years, and they can just whip through making, you know, a lot of our nougats, our creams, our peanut brittles, our caramels, and they can tell things by sight. But you may not remember the science when it tastes so good. For Growing STEM, I'm Betsy Kling, 3 News. Okay, so true to form, did you hear when I said, oh, so good. That was kind of a little <laughs> nod to Adele Malley, Mrs. Malley. Anyway, Valentine's Day is a big holiday for Malley's, as you can imagine. But the candy makers don't get much of a break as they are already making chocolate bunnies to get ready for Easter. It's a quick turn in the chocolate Well, industry. this year especially, I mean, it's March 31st, so it's an early holiday as it mm -hmm. is. Yeah. yeah. Well, thankfully for us, they're very good at this, mm -hmm. and there will be plenty of chocolate Easter bunnies for all of us to consume from Mally's. That's right, but there's so much science in it. Very I know, it's sweet. interesting. It really Love is it. interesting. Chemistry and cooking, same difference. Yeah.